We're starting things off with Lefty the Blue, baby. He stole red energy from there, over there. And then he sent out Stan and Ola, keeping himself at home. Blue, baby! He, uh, Stan is gonna see what's over here. Let's see with him what's over there. Dun -dun 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 it's this guy. And Ola's gonna see what this is. It's Faye. Faye joins the team. Doo 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 doo. Blue baby. Real quick note, there's a real important reason that everyone went that way on Blue Baby's team. And that's because in the first turn you can only go left. So everyone on um, Smiley's team is going to go take this route. Everyone on Roadrunner's team is going to take this route just on the first turn. And everyone on Bix Beetleman's team is going to take this route just on the first turn. And bypass this thing with the arrow thing. It was too strong for Stan, but it came over here. So that Ola can go past that thing really easy next turn. Be -do 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 blue baby! Is anybody out there? I am out here on my own. The cold blackness of space is my home now. Oh, if we could be together. It's so cold out here alone. Could we be together? Could you be my new home? Is anybody out here? I'm a judge looking for a jury. Would you come see my mallet? Oh, come on, baby, won't you hurry? I need you, Astrid. Won't you be the asteroid of my dreams? Need you out here. Won't you come on home? Ah, uh, come on home to the fire. Is anybody out there? Oh, we'll all four be together. Axel, Deems, Astrid, Smiley, out here. Are we all out there? Oh. <sighs> Invincible darkness attacks. Where will Roadrunner place the invincible darkness? She would like to place it right here. Um, Lefty does not like that. He votes no, that it should not go there. Uh, Bix Beetleman says... No, he thinks it's a little too soon maybe to start doing things like that. But Smiley says yes. So now we have to draw a card to see how many spaceships the Invincible Darkness gets. It gets four, that's really tough. Um, I'll put those in when I'm not using my less dominant hand. And I'll also have to draw, I think, a Draconum chip. Now is a good time for me to look at the different counters and figure out which is the best one for each of the numbers. Dun, dun. Da, 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 So what's happening right now is Ro it's Roadrunner's turn and her diplomat Bors, who is this chap here, just uh, turned over the Invincible Darkness attacks chip. Now the Invincible Darkness is the um, second strongest shadow 
next to the shadow lord. The only thing that makes it weaker is that it doesn't start out with a maximum number of spaceships and the power gem. So that's attacking Sten right here. The reason it's not attacking here is Ola is a um, diplomat. It's attacking Lefty the Blue Babies folks because um, Roadrunner doesn't like him as much as the other two. So she's having an attack Lefty and and also, you know, because if either of the other two win, Roadrunner's still in the game. Whereas if Lefty wins, the game's over. Um, and so I drew a chit here. Draconum and those White Castle chits are going to both be okay for these number 10 shadows. Number 6 shadows would be the purple ones and the brown ones would suffice. And then there's a couple number 3 shadows, 3 number shadows like Marshall Lynx there at the bottom. Marshall Lynx. Um, and those would be the green counters and the gray counters. That seems like the order of their toughness. So Invincible Darkness has this going for it. Um, Roadrunner is going to declare that the four spaceships are all going to go for defense. So it has an 11 defense, a resistance to ice attacks and physical attacks, and six ice attack. So any regular block is not going to be very good against that. Uh, you have to use an ice block in order to defend against this thing. So Sten is in big trouble, and I'm going to work out what happens and get back to you. Lefty is in a bind very early in the game. His main lieutenant, uh, Sten here, who he's put, you know, a majority of his resources. He starts out with three ships. He gave two to Sten, one to Ola, none for his water master. Is confronted here with the Invincible Darkness. Um, he actually... If the Invincible Darkness didn't have one particular ability, which is this one right here, that's Paralyze, he would be able to beat it. He has just the right cards and abilities uh, that he could beat it. He would have to use all his resources and essentially lose his next turn because he would be using his die for the turn. He'd be using all his cards um, and Sten would get pretty beat up. But since it has Paralyze, if Sten takes any damage, he's gone, he's destroyed. Um, so Lefty has a decision to make, and I don't really know what he's going to say or decide. Um, he could he could block it. He could block the Invincible Darkness's ability um, because he just so happens to have this special card, Cold Toughness, which is the perfect thing to block this attack. Um, he would have to use two cards to do it. He would, he would have to use his energy die, but he'd still have three dice or three cards for his next turn. Um, but is it worth it? I guess I should get, I should be more informed before I make this decision with Lefty as to whether or not the Invisible Darkness stays around. I assume it does, but it seems kind of vicious. Like once they jump it in there, it's just there. Uh, and all his guys are in trouble then. We'll see, because people can move at every turn. This could be a short game for Lefty. Let me take a look at hit at the rules, and I'll be right back. Lefty the baby, I got a choice to make. Do you let your friend live or die? He will live. He will live for today and block. The invincible darkness he lives. I had to make a rule call, and I did it. Um, the reason being is Shadow Lord fights don't end in a draw. There's always a winner. Uh, Mage Knight fights can end in a draw. Um, and so what I decided is if there's a draw, whoever was the attacker, in this case the Invincible Darkness, goes back to its earlier spot. I did do a draw for each side to see how many ships they lost in the battle. I thought that'd be fun. They each ended up uh, losing two. It was two separate draws, however. Um, so the Invincible Darkness tried its ambush, chipped away at Sten, uh, but then ended up back uh, in, I forget what this place is called. Some, it's somewhere special. All right, so now we're going to do Bix Beetleman's turn. Air Master! Bix Beetleman outfits his Air Master with so many ships, two ships. He's going faster. 
past this galaxy to these gentlemen who are really fast. And he uses a ranged attack, with, but he concentrates first. And it's a really good ranged attack. He uses mana to help it shoot straight and kills these guys. Do, 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 do. So Bix Beetleman is going to be the first person to make a level in this game of Star Masters. One, two, three, he goes there. So if we look here, that tells us he gets to pick one of these cards and he gets a new skill. So here are the skill things he chooses from. Uh, I'd have to look at what the card says that they do. Is this the right card? This is the wrong card. Is this the same person? Is this a different person? Uh, ah, it's this one. Okay. So he could get Bright Negotiation, which adds to his influence. I don't know if that's a... Yeah, yeah. He just gets a, an additional three influence, or there's this thing called Motivation. Once around, any player's turn, flip this to draw two cards. If you have the least fame. Also gain a white mana token. All right, so Bix will have to think about what he wants. He also has to think about which of these he wants. And I think he's going to get the Swift Bolt. So he has a new special card that's going to go on top of his deck. He'll draw it at the end of his turn. And I think since that's the end, he's going to have some... So that's to choose his skill. Since that's the end, we'll see what his what's here. Ah! Marshall Lynx attacks. Marshall Lynx ended up being a real zero. He has no spaceships at all. Uh, Bix put him close to himself, I think uh, in part to be charitable to the others. He doesn't really want to pick on anybody. And in part because um, he could probably get some easy experience points by going to where Marshall Lynx is and um, getting him. So I still haven't made a choice about that. And we went around, we explained some things, we welcomed each other back to the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, and I think that will be all for this evening, this video, this day. It's time for me to go to bed now, and it's time for the others to rest in, in, in anxious anticipation, if you can rest in that state for the next time. A lot of interesting things going on. We had a, a big attack, didn't go as far as I thought it might. Um, Bix has taken an early lead, I think, in some respects, yeah? Well, he didn't get another person. So let's see, let's take a look at it. I, I feel like I need to decode a little bit because you might not know this game, though. I don't know how well I explained it. But we have uh, Lefty, he, his Sten got hit pretty hard. He doesn't have as many uh, spaceships as everyone else. He's down to one. But he is the only one with spaceship production capability. So if he can keep that lead for a while, he's going to end up having more. So actually next turn, he's going to end up with more spaceships than everyone else because he'll get three more added to the one he has remaining, which makes four, whereas the others still just have three. Um, two, of, two of our folks, uh, their diplomats only took, uh, they, they only found um, shadow attacks. And then the one who did find another hero to join their cause found a warrior and not a merchant. So I look forward to um, seeing you maybe tomorrow early morning. We'll see you next time on the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. I almost want to say 7x7 seven seven ages because I've said that so many freaking times. Uh, but we're going to call it Star Masters um, Protestant Lake.